there are many ways to understand a group and uh, one of them is to let the group act on itself so one way to write it is this so you make the group act on itself so what is the meaning of a group acting on itself so let's pick any element from the group let's say a1 so this is the group G with elements A1, A2, A3 and so on. Of course, this could be an uncountably infinite group and so on. So the indexing is not really formally correct. Uh, we should use some alpha. But anyway, let's not go into those intricacies. Suppose A1 is any element of the group. And the way we let G act on G, one of them, is you multiply A1 with A2. So one of the ways of thinking about this is, uh, think of A1, A2, A3 these as points and think about A1 in particular when that's your actor, think of it as a striker. So what would happen is when you hit these points with your striker, a1 will move to a point A1, A2, uh, A1, A1, I'm sorry, A1, A1. So basically A1 will multiply to the left of A1. Uh, it will be a little bit clearer if I change the actor and the acted upon elements, uh, if I change them. So suppose A1 is acting on A2. So this striker will hit this point A2 and it will go to another point A1, A2. So in this case, of course, in more formal words, I am allowing a, uh, allowing a left action. A1 is getting multiplied to the left of the element. So uh, you think about these group elements as, uh, as atoms or as points which are bouncing around the environment of the group and the way it is bouncing around is it is getting hit by strikers which are again the group elements themselves and uh, by looking at this bouncing around <coughs> feature <coughs> we can tell a lot about how a group uh, is and what is the structure of the group and so on uh, one of these things one of these bouncing effects is known as torsion so uh, it's a, a the reason I'm using the word bouncing is to motivate a geometric intuition about what torsion is. It's basically when you hit A1 with itself over and over again. So A1 goes to A1 times A1, so A1 square maybe, and then when you hit that again by A1, you will get it, it will go to a1 cube and so on so it will come back it will trace a path and come back to identity if uh, the group has torsion so if a1 to the power sum n is identity only then a group is said to have torsion if, the, if there are elements in the group which when raised to some power goes to identity. So again if you after you reach identity if you hit A by A1 again then you are back at this point right because A1 times A1 to the power n is A1 times identity which is A1 again. So you sort of complete the loop so in our bouncing around analogy, in that geometric intuition, a group has torsion if an element when repeatedly acted, acted upon by itself, if it bounces about for some path, through some path, it comes back to the same point. Only then it's a torsion element, so the group will have torsion.